Welcome to Tor Beta Math. In this video, we're going to look at standard form numbers, what they are, and how to perform the four operations of add, subtract, multiply, and divide using these numbers. Standard form numbers are sometimes called standard index form numbers, so you should be prepared for either name. Remember, first of all, 10 squared is 100 and 10 cubed is 1,000. This sort of number is used to show very large and very small numbers. Although it can be used to show numbers in between, that's its main purpose. Look at this standard form number. 4.63 times 10 squared. We might say that. We also might say 4.63 times 10 to the power of 2. And this is a number in standard form. And it's in standard form because the first part, that's the bit that's 4.63, must be a number that is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. The second part is 10 raised to any power. Look at 5,624,000. If we want to turn that into standard form, we know that the first part's got to be a number between 1 and 10, so this, in this case it's 5.624, but we have to decide what power of 10 we need to multiply 5.624 by to get 5,624,000. And you can do that relatively easily by looking at where the decimal point would be. We haven't shown it at this side here, but the decimal point would be after that final zero. So if you actually have a look at how far you would move it, you would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places to the left. So that would give you 5.624 times 10 to the 6. Let's look at another one. 3,245. This one's going to be 3.245 times 10 to some power. And again, if we have a look at where the decimal point would be, it would normally be there. We haven't shown it because we wouldn't show it in all cases. And what happens is, if you move it to the left, count how many places you would move it to get 3.245. And you would move it one, two, three. So it's going to be times 10 to the 3. So 3.245 times 10 to the 3. Going the other way, the process is obviously reversed. We've got to multiply 2.9 by 10 to the power of 4. 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. We could do it that way. Or we could put some zeros in and start looking at how many places for the decimal point to move. So it's got to move four places. So it's starting there between the 2 and the 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. And just add zeros to the end as necessary to get it back to an ordinary number. Another example. 4.71 times 10 to the 7. Similar arrangement. Keep putting notes on until we've got enough of them. It's going to move from between the 4 and the 7. And it's going to move 7 places. So it's going to start there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Look at this smaller number. A reminder up here has appeared. Look, 10 to the minus 2 is 0 0.01. 10 to the minus 3 is 0 0.001. And so if we want to put this into standard form, we're going to move the decimal point so it goes between the 1 and the 7. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 places. 
But because we moved it to the right, it's going to be 10 to the minus 4. Another example. We're going to move it 1, 2, 3 places, so we can get 4.62 times 10 to the minus 3. Going back the way, we have to decide how many zeros to put in front of 5, 2 to make it work. And obviously we're going to move that decimal point 6 places. So if we started there, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's where we'll put our decimal point. So there will be 5 zeros in front of the decimal, in front of the 52. In this example, we can look at this and know that we only have to divide this by 10. But we just could just do it by moving decimal point one place to the left, one between the 9 and the 7, in front of the 9. Notice when you're going this way, there's five zeros here, and that's a 6. There's no zeros here, and that's a 1. There's two zeros here, that's a 3. There's three zeros here, and that's a four. So that can be a helpful way of converting them. The first thing is adding and subtracting. The key here is just to change them to ordinary numbers, and then add them or subtract them as necessary. And if the question asks you to, you should then change it back to a standard form number. To multiply standard form numbers, you first multiply the mantissas, that's the number between 1 and just less than 10. That's at the front of the standard form numbers, and add the power of 10. For example, 1.2 times 10 to the 4, times 3, times 10 to the 5th. You multiply together the 1.2 and the 3, to give 3.6, and add the powers of 10, to give 10 to the 9th, so the answer is 3.6 times 10 to the 9. This one, 4.1 times 10 squared, times 3.0 times 10 to the 5th. Sorting it out like that again, into the two parts. When you multiply them out this time, you get 12.3 times 10 to the 7th. Now that is not a number in standard form, unfortunately, because this number here, 12.3, is more than 10, which is not permitted. So we have to divide that by 10, to put the decimal point between the 1 and the 2. And if we divide that 1 by 10, to keep the number the same, we've got to multiply by that by 10. That is, increase the index by 1. So that's going to look like that. Let me just run through that again. Move the decimal point there, to the left, dividing it by 10. So to keep the number the same, I've got to multiply this by 10, which I do by adding 1 to the index. Dividing standard form numbers is a similar arrangement. You divide the mantissa, that's the number between 1 and 10, and then subtract the powers of 10. Here's an example, 3.6 times 10 to the 9, divided by 1.2 times 10 to the minus 2. I sorted that out into two sums with brackets. There. So 3.6 divided by 1.2 is 3, and times 10 to the 11th because 9. Take away minus 2 because I subtract the power of 10. 9 take away minus 2 is the same as 9 add 2, which is 11. So I get my answer 3.0 times 10 to the 11. Remember that sometimes when you do these calculations, you end up with a number which is not in standard form. And usually the question asks for you to put the number into standard form. Even when you are allowed to use a calculator, sometimes your calculator will not show the answer in standard form and you'll have to convert it to get all the marks for the question. Thank you for watching.